Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to win your pre-release. A lot of you said that you missed Liliana, so I... Liliana's back. Uh, how to go ahead and win the Dragons of Tarkir pre-release. I know I make videos like this once every pre-release, I guess. But, I, essentially you need to study the cards. So you have to have a good idea what colors are the best, what... Um, is it going to be aggro format? Will there be removal? What cards you should look for? What cards your opponent may have if they have mana untapped? What type of removal exists in the format? Um, that's very important is to at least just try to get some type of uh, studying in so you know what type, what kind of format it is. Uh, next, food and water. I know this is a big, uh, a lot of you will say, hey, this doesn't make any sense. We're not athletes. We are not, you know, competed, competing in physically in any way. But uh, food and water does make a big difference because, uh, again, for my pre-release, I go at, in at 10 p.m. and I leave at 10 a.m. So it's 12 hours of being really tired. Probably I had to work the previous day. Overall, very exhausting experience. And sometimes food and water, even if you go to a GP or something, you get dehydrated and you get a lack of, I mean, there is a lack of attention. So it does affect how you play, especially when you're playing the final eight, the top eight, where you're trying to win a box or you're getting better promos or getting better prize payout. That's the time where if you didn't have food and you didn't get the proper, uh, if you're dehydrated, you might make mistakes because it is a very mental game and that does affect it. Now, creatures, I do want to talk a little bit about creatures being very important in this format. Dragons, um, back in my day, a 4-4 flying dragon for 6, I mean, if it had haste, it would be called Volcanic Dragon. It would be like the best card in the format, even in standard at the time. Nowadays, it seems like uh, every dragon is some type of bomb. And now when I'm looking at all the creatures, I see a sub theme of aggro which is much weaker than in my opinion than cons of Tarkir or even M4, M15 or M14 was very aggro like because the burn was good this one the burn is good but the dragons are just so huge it might be a format where aggro is easily outpaced because if I'm aggro I'm trying to get in some damage Opponent playing a 4-4 dragon is really going to stop me from attacking. And then if I somehow remove the dragon, normally what happens is if I can remove the dragon, I can win because I can do enough damage and my opponent is not going to draw another bomb. But in this format where every dragon is a 4-4 flyer, uh, pretty much, uh, it's going to be very hard to play an aggro build. Evasion. Again, it's going to be hard to have evasion because it looks like so many of these dragons have flying, which is a type of evasion. And if all of these creatures are flying, then, you know, flying does not become as, uh, you won't be able to attack your opponent like you normally would be in a limited format with the average amount of flyers. Now, bombs, like again, there's so many different bombs in this format. Every dragon is essentially a bomb in my opinion. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to emphasize playing your bombs when my opponent has probably is when your deck has one or two bombs out of 40 that's a lot different playing your play style should be a lot different than if let's say 10 of your cards are 4 4 flying dragon bombs with a pseudo evasion uh, so it's bombs are going to be less important in this format removal is my top priority I heavily recommend you guys choose colors that are removal heavy. A lot of the removal are instant speed. Instant speed removal is going to be what wins you the game. Because there's so many different dragons, so many different 4-4 flyers. Just out of the, This set is very strong creature based. Most sets are not do not have creatures where the average creature is a 4-4 flying dragon. That being said, removal... This set's removal is extremely good, but because the dragons are in five colors, you can play any of the five colors and play a dragon. But the removal, the best removal is in white, black, and what's that? White, black, and there's another one, red. So 
you got to kind of splash those colors or you have to play one of those. In my opinion, you got to play one of those colors because removal is going to be, that's going to win. That's going to make the difference between winning and losing is instant speed removal. Now also stay calm. A lot of times, you know, someone will call a judge on you or they'll be upset and then they'll like miss. There's all types of stuff that happen at pre-release in my opinion doesn't really happen at Friday Night Magic. Uh, mainly because the players are newer or the players are sometimes the players are newer that's why sometimes it's because the prize is a pre-release pack or a booster box and that's you know obviously a very nice prize to have so it's more competitive but just stay calm uh, if people are mean or they're not like they are douchebags that's something that you have to deal with and most importantly, have fun. Always have fun. I always have so much fun at these events, meeting people, talking to new people. I tried to go to new local game stores. I tried to go to like um, a new local game store I've never been to for pre-release because it's fun just getting to know some new people. And that's, in my opinion, that's what pre-release is. Pre-release is for new pre people to come to a store, see if they like the store, see if they like the people at the store, and maybe that's gonna be your game store or your game home for the next few years. And um, that's honestly how I find the stores I love to be at is at pre-release. I look at the location, I look at the food, I look at the uh, you know amendments, if you will. Is the bathroom not that messy? Is there like interesting comics to read or there other stuff? A lot of times I just read manga or I bring my um, DS. I'm actually playing. Oh, my DS plugged in. I'm playing this game right now and it's very very good. So go to pre-release. I'm gonna definitely gonna make a video about why you should go to pre-release if you're a new player. I make a video like that every pre well, every pre-release. So bye!